Hello, I'm Robin Wally. Welcome to Lenscraft. I've recently been asked a very good question, which is every time I show one of these knit collection videos, why do I go from Lightroom into Photoshop? The first reason I don't like actually working with the knit collection in Lightroom is that you end up with a lot of files. Let me illustrate. So I've got here a raw file that I shot some time ago. If I right click now, and choose to edit in Viveza, the first thing I get is this dialog. This is the option to edit um, a copy of the RAW file with Lightroom adjustments applied. Lightroom doesn't let you edit the RAW file. In fact, none of the RAW converters allow you to do that. So when we want to work with Viveza, a copy of the image is created and we end up working on that. So let's create a copy that we can work with. Okay, here we are in Viveza. So I can now just make a few adjustments just to show you what's uh, happening. So I'm not trying to create anything great here, just to show you the process. Right, we're back in Lightroom now, and we've ended up with two images in a stack. We've got the original raw file, and we've got the, the, sorry, the new file that's been created in Viveza. <clears throat> Let's now edit this file that we've just created in another of the Nick collection. So we'll pick this time Color Effects Pro. And now we have the options. And because we're not working on a raw file, we have the other two options, edit a copy or edit the original. Now, if I edit a copy, I end up with yet another file in Lightroom. If I edit the original, I'll end up applying my changes over the Viveza changes that I made previously. That means I don't have a copy to go back to. So if I want to start again because I make a mistake, I'm right the way back to using the raw file that I started with and I have to work my way through all the various adjustments. You can get around this problem by actually working in Photoshop. Let's take a look in Photoshop now and I have the same file open. This time I can create my edits in Viveza. And Photoshop and the way I have Viveza set up allow me to create this new option here. Now that's great, but supposing I don't like the sky I've just created. Well, I can easily add a mask and I can select a paintbrush tool, use black paint, and I can now paint out the adjustments that I applied in Viveza, but I can now mask them out of the sky simply by adding that layer mask. So now the changes are restricted just to the foreground image. So that's another advantage to working in Photoshop. Now let me duplicate this layer again to a brand new layer. So this is a composite layer of the layers below. And the next thing I can do in Photoshop that I can't in Lightroom is I can convert this to a smart filter. Now what the smart filter does is it prepares this layer to be run as a smart filter. Let me show you what happens. So if I go into Viveza, I get this warning sign saying it's detected that it's now working on a smart object. That's no problem. So I'll click OK and Viveza opens. So let's add in a lot more saturation, some contrast, some deeper shadows. Um, and let's add in a little bit of structure. And we'll add in a control point here and we'll add in lots of structure there and boost the contrast and click OK. Great. Supposing now we think that that adjustment's too strong. I can actually adjust and reduce the opacity of the layer to give me a better adjustment level. But supposing I decided, hmm, I've actually added too much contrast into the image. Well, what you can do is go back to your adjustment here in uh, Viveza, double click and open it. 
And this time when it opens, you haven't lost the changes that you applied before. So here is the control point that I added and I can decide now that I'm going to delete that. Click OK and the changes will now be reapplied without the control point. That's something you can't do with any other of the applications that work with the Knit collection. So those are the reasons that I actually choose to use Photoshop. I manage my files better, so I only end up with one file with all the various layers in. I actually can mask out areas of the adjustment if I don't like them. I can adjust the opacity of those layers to control how strong the adjustment is. But the best thing about this is I can actually use smart objects that will remember the adjustments I made with the Nick collection, including my control points. So even when I've closed down this image and I open it up in a few days time, all those control points are there. Those are some really powerful reasons why I choose to use Photoshop rather than Lightroom for editing with Viveza. Hope you found that useful. Keep watching for more in the future.